There are times when we just want to play a game, but unfortunately our GPU just can't handle it. So we are left with no choice but to lower the resolution just to make it playable. It sucks, right? Enter AMD's FSR, Fidelity FX Super Resolution. According to AMD, it will double or even triple your frame rates. But of course, it's not all about the frame rates. FSR can also upscale your resolution up to 4K and of course, it's all about maintaining a high quality image at all times. And the best part? It's open source, so theoretically, it works on any GPU. Of course, it's an attack against NVIDIA, keeping their latest features on their latest hardware even though their old GPUs will be able to handle the FSR in theory. But how does it all work? FSR uses a blend of temporal upscaling and AMD secret sauce, fluid motion frames, to make games look and feel as smooth as a dolphin's forehead. So how does it work? Well, much like DLSS, FSR uses sophisticated upscaling algorithms to enhance both the performance and the quality of games. The first version of FSR came equipped with upscaling to 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. This version employed an edge detection algorithm to refine the image quality, leading to a boost in both performance and the overall visual experience. Now, the first FSR wasn't as good as DLSS in some ways. It couldn't do as many different types of upscaling, but nevertheless, it brought a ton of old GPUs back to life. But to appreciate where we are now with FSR, here's a quick history of every FSR version so far. FSR 1.1 brought in an ultra quality mode for even better looking games. It was also tweaked to work better with a bunch of different games. FSR 1.2 added a sharpening tool to make game details look crispier. Plus, it could now upscale from a lower 720p resolution which was great for less powerful computers. FSR 2.0 gave us four ways to upscale, ultra quality, quality, balanced, and performance. It also started supporting fancy ray tracing for more realistic game lighting. FSR 2.1 made it possible to use FSR with VR games, helping them run smoother and look better. And finally, FSR 2.2 brought in a smarter way to upscale that made games look clearer and cut down on visual glitches. It also worked better with a variety of games and supported more game engines. A few months ago, AMD announced the new FSR 3. And sadly, as of the creation of this video, FSR was only released on two games, both of which are rather uninteresting. And frankly, DLSS is still better as it is today. But in absence of FSR 3, AMD still recently released Fluid Motion Frame which essentially is their frame generation algorithm and it works quite well as you can see here on Cyberpunk 2077 which of course doesn't FSR 3 yet. And here's Starfield. When compared to DLSS though, FSR ends up looking rougher. DLSS retains more detail and is more consistent with its performance. So yes, DLSS and its frame generation are much better as of now. But then of course, FSR is perfect for those who have older graphics cards. It even works on the GTX 10 and RX 500 series which are now 7 and 6 years old respectively. So whether you're on the green team or the red team, the real winner here is us, the gamers. With FSR and DLSS, it's a golden era for buttery smooth, eye candy gaming, even on old GPUs. So there you have it folks, I think no one ends up winning the battle, DLSS is just better and FSR supports more GPUs. But which one would you choose to boost those frame rates? Drop a comment below and please consider subscribing to our channel for more tech videos just like this one.